Now I'm fixing to talk about operations with complex numbers. Now, a complex number is any number in the form a plus bi, where a is the real part and b is the imaginary part. Okay, I brought you um five complex numbers. Um, z1, 2 plus 3i, where 2 is the real part, 3 is the imaginary. Z2, which is 3 minus 4i, where z is the real part, and minus 4 is the imaginary part. Oh wait, z3, b and 3, is that complex? A complex number is any number that can be written in this form. Yes, you can see this as plus zero i because because I can oi, yeah because I can put it in this form it's complex okay so take a look take a look at z3 there's a special name for that kind of complex number it's purely real down here I have z4 that's purely imaginary it doesn't have a real part it only has an imaginary part and then I have this last one down here for you z5 this is 2 minus 3i. Let's go through some of these operations with complex numbers. Okay, sure. First what I want to do is I want to add z1 and z2. I'll put those up here for you. This is um 2 plus 3i. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to add it to... should put that in yellow. 3 minus 4i. I'm adding z1 and z2. So this is how you add z1 and z2. These parentheses are unnecessary. There's no number in front and no minus sign in front. So then we're going to have 2 plus 3i plus these parentheses are unnecessary. No number in front, no minus sign in front. 3 minus 4i. Okay. So now, when we're adding these, adding and subtracting these complex numbers, we add the real parts and we add the imaginary parts. It kind of feels like gathering like terms, but it's more like gathering like places. I have two reals and three reals together. It's going to give me five reals. Yes. Ooh, three i minus four i is going to give me a minus i. I i i, and then. And a flower. Down to subtraction. Okay, here I'm gonna take z1, which is gonna be 2 plus 3i. And I'm gonna subtract off this time. z2, which was 3 minus 4i. Okay, so here. These parentheses are unnecessary. This is 2 plus 3i. These are necessary. Because it had the minus sign on the outside. It's going to change the sign of everything on the inside. It becomes a minus 3 and a plus 4i. Okay. Got to collect and combine. Well, they're not really. Mm, yeah, okay. Real part, real part. That's a minus 1. Fun. Imaginary, imaginary, plus 7i. And at that point, we typically write the i out back because that's how our complex numbers are written. Real plus imaginary. Okay. And the i unit signifies the imaginary part. And a flower. Okay. Let's talk about how to multiply these things. Let's look at a little z1 on z2 action. Mm -hmm. Yes. So then I'm going to take 2 plus 3i and I'm going to multiply it by um, 3 minus 4i. Okay. So then I have two terms on two terms. I'm going to first and out or last it. Yeah. Okay. This one times that one. That's 6. First, outer is minus 8i. Inner, that's plus 9i. Last, minus 12i squared. 
Now we gotta clean it up a little bit. This is six, ooh, plus i, wait for it, minus 12 times, what was i squared from the previous video? Yeah, minus one, fun, oh you like that. So then this is six plus i plus 12, six and 12 gonna get you 18 plus i. Okay. Yeah. Let's take another product. Hmm, kind of special. Um, here, I'm gonna take two plus three i, and I'm gonna multiply it by two minus three i. That's your z1 and your z5. So then, I'm gonna first enter out our last it. This is um, two, four, sure. The outer is minus six i. The inner plus six i. And then finally we last. That's minus, wait for it, nine i's squared. Okay, divide. They're still additive inverses, even though they're imaginary. So then you have four minus nine times a minus one. Fun. Mm-hmm. So then this is four plus nine, which gets you 13. Yes. So what just happened there? I dropped my marker. No, other than that, um, I took two complex numbers with imaginary parts, and I was able to get rid of the imaginary parts. Uh-huh. This is screaming. Difference of squares. Uh-huh, something plus something, something minus something. So every single time, it's this one squared minus this one squared. Albeit, when I square the imaginary part, I'm gonna get a real part, negated. Some would even say that this is the sum of squares. Oh boy. Sure, that was a cheap trick. And I wanna use this cheap trick on this division up here. Okay, so here's E3, it gonna be three. Uh -huh. Divided by two plus three i. Now, in my quest for division, I don't want that i in the denominator, so I need to do something. I wanna get rid of the imaginary part. You remember back when we were rationalizing roots? When we had a root in the bottom, and you had two terms, you multiply by the conjugate, yes. And here we're gonna multiply by the complex conjugate. Okay, I'm gonna bring this right on down here. I'm gonna have three divided by two plus three i. Okay, so I need to multiply top and bottom by the complex conjugate. The conjugate of two plus three i is two minus three i. Okay, and two minus three i. Yeah, what are we going for? We're going for the difference of squares. And in fact, this will turn out to be the sum of squares. Yeah, okay, sure. Now that I got that, all righty then. I found in my last example, this is gonna be 13. That was set up well. So then up here it'll be six minus nine i divided by this one squared, two squared plus three, squared. There I'm using the whole aforementioned sum of squares. So then I have six minus nine i divided by, wait for it, wait for it, four, okay, plus nine. Yes. So then this is six minus nine i divided by 13. If you're wondering how I got that, go ahead, foil that out, see if it works. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not done there, because the complex numbers written in A plus BI form, this is gonna be six thirteenths minus nine thirteenths I. And yeah, I wanna write it like that, where I separate the reals and the imaginary parts. And then, yeah, a box. Hey, that's not a flower. What is that? It's a dog. Nah. Remember back when you were at the county fair and stuff like that? Sure, 
and you have those imaginary dogs. It's imaginary. Thank you.